short-term traffic versus long-term traffic. When it comes to generating traffic to your business website, one consideration that is worth thinking about is the type of traffic you should use to achieve your business objective depending on where you are in your business. In terms of timing and effectiveness, there are two main types of traffic, short-term and long-term. Short-term traffic is traffic that you can generate really quickly but may only get you limited number of visitors for a short period of time. Assuming you have a brand new website and you want to drive massive amount of traffic to it fast. Typically, you would send an email to your list of existing subscribers to do just that. You will get quick, but short, boost in traffic to your site when your subscribers visit it. The traffic is short-term simply because it is limited by the size of your list. You can certainly invite your list of subscribers to visit the site on a regular basis. However, it will not be an ongoing source of new visitors. In terms of paid traffic, the length of time that you receive traffic is entirely up to the amount of traffic that you are willing to pay for. If you are on limited budget, you might just run your ads for a short while dot long-term traffic, on the other hand, is traffic that brings you consistent streams of new and repeat traffic without having you to invest additional effort or money. This is provided you have already put in your time and effort building at the first place, but only for once. One of the most effective ways to generate long-term traffic is article marketing. Good articles, once published, will circulate across the internet for months and sometime years. You will continue to receive new traffic from these articles so long visitors come across them via search engines, article directories, etc. Regardless of the timing and effectiveness of the traffic, it all comes down to two things when traffic generation is concerned, time and money. You can generate traffic by either investing your time, if you have, to do the necessary hard work, e.g. writing articles, optimizing your website, blogging, submitting press releases, participating in forums, and so forth, or you can generate traffic by paying for it. Examples of paid traffic is the use of pay-per-click, easing advertising, classified advertising, solo ads, advertising on high-traffic sites, and the like, most importantly, you will want to focus on mastering one method at a time. Then, pay close attention to your results, especially your conversion rates. In other words, how many visitors to your website become your customers or subscribers? A common way to gauge conversion rate is the number of sales out of 100 visitors, or the number of actions taken out of 100 visitors. Above all, make sure that your effort is well spent towards growing your subscriber base in your opt-in list. Subscribers will be the heart of your business to drive repeat traffic and sales.